And for more on this, I'm joined by Theo Chin Lu, the senior currency strategist at BNP Paribas. Many thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, first of all, if I can talk about the euro, uh, Nimura is saying after breaking 130, uh, it'll go towards 126, the next support level. Are you of agreement with that? Is that a big concern? Well, I think that's really what the markets uh, would expect given the developments in the Eurozone and the uncertainty that's caused with the change in governments in both Greece and France. But having said that, you know, the break below 130 yesterday on the initial reaction from the French election results uh, showed that there is some bids certainly going on that's kept the euro afloat above 130 despite very negative developments uh, in the political scene in Europe. So I think one has to question why the Europe is so supported, despite all the uh, concerning news that is out there. I think one of the reasons has to be, you know, some repatriation inflows back into the Eurozone, either by European banks that need to um, divest and go back to core business and raising funds that are uh, really causing some bids in the Euro to come in. So I think there is clearly real demand, although on the, on the sentiment side, as well as the economic political fronts, you, know, you would certainly argue that there should, could be more weakness in store for the Euro dollar. Are you, so therefore, you are quite surprised by how strong the euro has been, or rather how resilient it's been, with all these concerning words and, of course... Certainly, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I think that's really where the, uh, the market is, you know, it's, it's in concert with regards to euro weakness, but yet the euro has performed above expectations. What's your target, uh, Thea, then, of course, going down? Is it 126 is the euros. What is your call at BNP? Mm -hmm. I think in the it, it's the market that's traded very technically. There really isn't very large positioning in the market as, as we see it. And there are not many uh, risk takers that are willing to bet, you know, the whole house on the markets right now. So as a result, it is a very technically driven market, very flow driven. And as such, I think I would watch key levels to see how that would pan out. So next, uh, the next support area for the euro, euro dollar is 129.5. If that level breaks, clearly we could get one big figure down to 128.5. But certainly we need to watch the support levels to see if they hold up and uh, and then the flows will be driven accordingly. Budget in Australia, just like those trade figures are deficit worse than forecast. The Aussie at a new 2012 low yesterday breaking 10110. Uh, what's your call for the Aussie uh, ahead of today's uh, budget? Well, I think as well, given the, you know, the surprise 50 basis point rate cut from the RBA last week, it does, uh, you know, slant the view onto Aussie dollar towards the bearish front because of concerns, uh, you know, uh, shown by the RBA, you know, that they are more worried about growth than inflation risk. Uh, and I think on, on, on part of the economy as well, given that commodity prices have been um, surpri surprisingly soft over the last uh, week, particularly on the oil price front, um, you know, inflation uh, expectations are being reined back down, which helps uh, in the case of the U.S. dollar, given that rates are very low, but it goes against the Aussie dollar, given that uh, the markets were expecting the RBA to hold rates steady. So I think from that viewpoint, with commodity prices soft, you know, there is uh, more weight on the Aussie dollar to come. So we do agree as well that the, 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 the risks are certainly tilted towards the downside for the Aussie, and the parity level is something that we clearly would watch for as a risk trade. An investor asks you, what's your best currency you play for the next week or two weeks perhaps again? What would you say it is? Well, we still like to be short the euro, not so much against the dollar, because there clearly is safe haven bits coming back into U.S. Uh, bonds in particular. So we do like to short the euro against selected Asian currencies. So we like to short the euro against the Sing dollar, because in, inflation, in, in Singapore, inflation is still a concern given high housing and transport costs, and the MAS is quite happy to run with a tight monetary policy. So euro Sing shorts, I think, are still a fairly um, you know, good proposition. Uh, the other cross that we'd like to play, I think, is probably euros just on the upside, you know, where this currency cross as well is supported by the SNB buying, and we do think that it will continue to stay in a fairly tight range. Thanks for joining us there. Theo Chin Lu there, joining us, the senior currency analyst at BNP Paribas.